Yeah, Cast Dorps is a channel devoted to the teens who adult toy collector, pop culture fans, and fellow nerd enthusiasts. This is a PG-13 channel. I might say some shit. Viewer and parental discretion is advised. Out there. I could have sworn I actually saw you guys yesterday. Anyway, it's time for another episode of Diecast Norms Galactic Hooligan. I am super happy to have you in my house today because today we're actually going to be, uh, we're actually going to be enjoying Transformers Studio Series 86 Junk Heap. I've actually been waiting to get him in hand for a long time. I actually, honestly, I've actually had him in my hand for like a few weeks now and everything. But I am only getting to get, review him now and everything. And I couldn't wait to review him. Just, you know, life and everything. You know how that is. Anyway, I really love the fact that you're actually with me today and everything. I can't wait to review him with you. Let's go. As a reminder, I love having you all with me and everything. Please. Hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share me around like a blunt with everyone that you actually know. And I really appreciate everyone that's actually joining me today. To all of you that have actually joined me already, thank you for coming back once again and everything like that. It really means a lot to me. For all of you that are actually coming in now, welcome. Come to me. Come. Anyway, let's go to the review. And again, let me tell you all, it is just an amazing time to be a collector. I never would have actually, ever, any year, would have actually thought that we would have actually gotten more Junkions. We are actually going to take a look at uh, Transformers, the studio series, 86 Junkie. And he is really, really awesome, actually. I'm just going to have you take a look at this box, which is actually great box art right now. And I'm like, look at this. He's like, oh, like... I'm actually loving this expression on his face, like, Rawr! like the Viking he is. Look at this, I, I love the antlers on him and everything like that also. That's actually really great. Great artistry from whoever is actually creating these. And we actually have a product shot of, of Junk Heap right over here in both vehicular and robot mode. And he is just really, really cool. I love this guy. And now that I have everything all set up over here, we are going to bring in Rekgar and his faithful companion Jug Keep right over here. And this is actually really, really great. We really do live in a great time, everybody, where we actually have like a Junkion sized Junkion here and everything. So you can actually have them both go on motorcycle action adventures together and everything like that with each other or without you can actually have like any one of them ride each other in motorcycle mode and that's actually very very cool let me just like remove Rekgar over here for a moment and I love the fact that you can actually have him hold the handles over here now one thing that actually has to be said is that there is a slot that a uh, slot that's actually right over here and a peg right over here where you should actually be able to interconnect them and everything I haven't really found a way to like actually really make that secure or anything like that but it doesn't stop the enjoyment of the figures themselves or anything like that because they actually really handle each other pretty well so i'm just gonna remove him right over here and we'll actually take a good look at the base motorcycle here this is so awesome and everything and like look at this in his mad max inspired motorcycle mode he is just looking great we actually still have the same uh fan weapon that uh, the fan uh, axe weapon that uh that came with Rekgar on uh, on Junk Heap over here. But we also get this laser device right over here also and everything. That is just great. I love the fact that it's actually kind of like more of a six shooter than anything else with like the way this is actually arranged in the barrel over here and everything like that. Electronic six, uh, electronic six shooter or something, I guess, you know what I mean? But I would have loved to like see like the whole barrel being like molded right over here and everything also. But 
he looks great and he is super blast effects compatible and everything like that so you can actually like just like have him riding on the road and everything like that blasting at decepticons and anyone who actually invades his uh invades his planet and everything and this is great i love all of this it's amazing how many changes could out uh, and of uh, this kind of like slips out really really easily and everything i try kiki's and it sticks it actually helps but you know like every so often you might be able to knock this off and everything like that so that's actually kind of like the only thing that i actually have that's actually like a real negative and everything like that i love everything dealing with the engine over here but it's amazing how much work was actually done over here to differentiate him from Rekgar. Speaking of which, here goes Rekgar. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Happy motoring! And let's take a close look at how different both of these actually are. We're really, really close up. Really, when you're actually taking a look over here at Junk Heap, I love the fact that he actually looks so much more armored as compared to Rekgar over here, who is kind of like more of the sports model and everything like that, just great for the Junkie on King and everything like that. But when it actually comes down to his enforcers, I would tend to think that they would actually need like a little bit more armor and that sort of thing. And as I said before, they are really, really interchangeable and everything. It's really nice to see exactly how much work was actually done. You have really got to love the front chassis of both of these motorcycles as they are just so different from each other and it gives them like more of a uh, like uh, gives them more personality and differences in personality altogether. I do also love the fact that they actually still have their chunky on spikes right at the front and everything. I still have to fix mine on on Rekgar over here. But in the package of uh, Junk Heap over here, he didn't really come with any issues dealing with like the front spikes or anything like that. So he was actually okay. On Rekgar, we actually still have like this, his uh, malleable, um, what do you call it? His malleable machine gun jubblies over here and everything like that, you know, and that really works for Rekgar altogether and everything. With Junk Heap, he doesn't come with that, but he actually does come with like this beautiful, beautiful chassis right over here that actually just like kind of makes him a little bit more boxy. And if we actually take a look over here also, you'll actually notice, and just let me turn these guys around so you can actually see this a little bit better. But I love exactly how much more width you actually get over here as, over he as opposed to over here. He still has his uh, his uh, odometer and speed reader and everything over here, so that's actually really great. One more thing that I wanted to do with this, and uh, seriously, I love the fact that that sounds like a motorcycle while you're actually running the wheel back and forth and everything. That is so great. But let's say you didn't want the forward-facing guns over here. And I know the appeal of having a revolver right on the front of your bike is actually amazing, right? But suppose you didn't want to do that. Suppose you actually just wanted to make him the, the Harley Davidson that you think that he could actually be. Well, Hasbro thought about that also, and I love this. There is a hinge right, I mean, there is a uh, swivel joint like right under here and under here on his forearms. And all you have to do is swivel this all the way back. And there we go. And just let's fix this and we'll swivel this back. Mind the handlebars, by the way. So just bring this all the way back. And there are a couple of tabs that are actually right under his feet right here. And we're just gonna plug that in there. There we go, I think, maybe. Uh, I had an easier time doing that before. There we go. And we'll do this over here on this side as well. There we go. And now we're all plugged in. And you just wanna fix his wheels a bit and then just bring this down. And there you go. Now you actually have a cruising bike. And that is really, really, really cool. I love this so much. And the fact that we actually have all of this and it just makes everything so much more cohesive and everything and it's brilliant and i love the fact that they actually did that i cannot wait to see like more junkions in this size i really hope that we actually get the like the the queen of the junkions or something also because i would love to see exactly how they actually differentiate on this and i'm dying to see more of these guys and the like 
really soon because like you can't have just like one or two junkions. You actually have to have an army, you know? Like these guys are so great. For a size comparison, just let me fix my camera over here a bit. We're actually gonna give you not only Rekgar, Junk Heap and Ethereal styled Tigatron, Junk Heap and Cup. And all right, so now that we've actually gone through everything that we can on the bike mode, let's get into transformation. Transformation is super simple, super genius and everything because I really love the way they actually fix the abdominal area here. As you saw just now, there is a kick. Uh, there are two kickstands over here that help them stand upright. So once you actually do that, we're actually ready. Once we actually put them back up into his legs, it's ready to start the transformation. First off, let's remove this, his battle axe right over here. And we'll actually start off by removing the feet right over here, bringing them down. We will actually remove his wheel right from here, and then we're actually gonna place it right on this side. After that's being done, we just wanna bring this all the way up. We'll start loosening his wheel, his secondary wheel right over here, and we're gonna place that right down on the other spike. After that, We'll move his arms right out of here. We'll start straightening things up a little bit. Bring down his arms. Then we'll bring down this whole piece right over here. There's a part of his head that goes right into this cavity. Now be careful. Um, on my copy, it wasn't glued in, so I actually fixed it a little bit more and everything like that, and his head is a lot better than it was before and everything like that. It's so, like a lot less loose, but there are tabs that are actually on the inside and everything like that, and all you have to do is just like fix your favorite fastener or glue, and then just like set that in. We're actually going to move his antlers out like so. We are going to bring his whole entire body right over here and search. Oh, let's just bring this down. We'll bring them this part of the body. We are going to bring them this canopy right into the back over here. And then accordion the very top of the upper part of his body in. And there we go. And we're just going to straighten everything up over here. Bring that in. And that actually secures his whole entire, oh wait, before we do that, just let's peg these in. There are a couple of back pegs, there are a couple of pegs like going right in his back that goes right into his arms. So let's do that. Fix that up a little bit. There we go. That's all fastened in. Then we're going to get his hands right out from the bottom of the his forearms, there we go, let's just get his fists right here, there we are, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. There's like a, there's a piece right over here, like a little peg right over here, just wanna bring it out that way, and then that'll actually help you with the rest of the arm. And then we're going to straighten out his feet, and, once you've actually done all of that, you actually have Junkie in his really, really cool robot mode. Junk Heap is actually a really, really cool bot. I am just really loving everything about this guy. I love this. He's actually Blast Effects compatible, and I love the fact that he actually does come with this little weapon right over here. As I said before, it actually kind of like revol like kind of like makes me think of a revolver every time I see it, and it's just like really, really cool. I love the fact that it actually also acts as like an arm shield and everything like that. So if there's actually someone who's actually coming down on him with like another melee weapon he actually has a way of protecting himself since that's actually really cool his face is actually very very cool i'm loving those shades on him and everything just really really cool and i'm kind of looking forward to a lot more in the way of junkions and everything his chisel face is actually very awesome also now i've actually seen that there were there are plans of making a deluxe style junkion also so i'm really kind of looking forward to see what that that's actually gonna look like. 
but as always, he actually carries his windscreen right on his head right over here. This detailing is just really beautiful. Uh, a lot different from like where we actually had a uh, where we had it with Redgar here, where we actually have, hold on, just let me clear up my camera a bit. There we go. So a lot different from Redgar. And for me personally, I still prefer the Redgar styling and everything. I think he actually kind of looks like a leader, you know? But also this guy is just like really great. He actually kind of like has that enforcer kind of thing. Uh, there are a couple of like uh, paint differences and everything. Of course, he's a different character. We actually have this beautiful molding that's actually going right over here in the shoulders that actually has these spikes and everything. I love these tubes coming out from his chest and everything. This part of my bot actually kind of like came out a little bit more mangled than anything else. Uh, kind of like a, a paint mishap and everything like that, but I don't care. I, it kind of like makes me feel like it gives like a little bit more value to his junkie on nature and everything, you know? But there we go, saddlebags on the side and everything like that, so that's actually kind of cool. We're actually putting his wheels a little bit differently than we actually did on uh, Rekgar over here, who actually has like uh, all his uh, wheels on the right side, and I mean, yeah, on, on his left side, excuse me. So, like, that's actually really cool. Where we actually have this guy, he actually, uh, well, Junk Heap actually, kill, uh, like, has them right on his legs because these pieces right over here are actually kind of getting in the way. He can't really affix them onto his arm or anything like that in any way there. But he still, nonetheless, makes a really, really cool bot and everything. I like this guy a lot. He still carries the same weapon that, uh, say, that uh, Rekard actually has over here, and it's actually cool also and everything. Aside from looking like a badass, Jug Keep actually still carries the same kind of articulation that Rekgar actually did. So he actually does have a 360 right on his head right over here. Propose it 360 because he actually has like this windscreen right over here and his horns. So those are actually going to get in the way and everything like that. But like supposedly you can actually do that. He's got a ball joint. You can actually look up way up like that, you know. So that's actually really, really nice looking up the skies for aliens and everything. Thing. You can actually look down a little bit, so that's not too bad, you know? You actually have like a hinge, I'm sorry, a mushroom peg that's actually located right in the shoulder right over here. So you actually have 360 going all the way around, uninhibited and everything. You act. You have a hinge right over here on the shoulder, so you can go all the way up like this. And I love it where they actually put extra pieces of robot kibble like right on the inside of the arm. So it doesn't look like it's actually breaking up the, uh, it doesn't look like it's actually breaking up the movement over there and everything. And that mechanical design is really excellent. And I really wish that Hasbro and Takara actually did that a lot more on the arms and on the, uh, and on the ankles actually. So like that's actually very, very cool. You actually have bicep rotation done on a mushroom peg. That's actually really nice. You have a curl right over here. So that's actually really cool. You have you have a 360 rotation right on his wrist. That's great. You have this deal going over here because of transformation. So that's nice. You have a 360 right over here as far as a turn on his waist. You have an extra ab uh, abdominal, um, it's uh, outside outward crunch, I guess, like a back crunch, maybe, you know, like you can actually do that. You do have an ab crunch right over here. So like as far as values actually goes and everything like that, you can actually go have him go, whoa, or come at you and everything like that. So that's actually very, very cool. You have like saddlebags right over here. So those actually move out of the way. You have a uh, leg rotate, you have like a leg, uh, yeah, he can actually bring his leg up like right here, so that's actually really nice. He can actually kick back, so that's really nice. You can actually do the full Kung Fu with him if you actually decided to. Remove these wheels and everything like that, and bam, there you go. So that's actually really, really nice. So he's not like, it's actually really great to like actually see that Kung Fu kick and everything like that going for like most of these bots and everything. So that's always something I look forward to. You actually have thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees right over here at his knee. 
and you actually have an in and out right over here so Thor's deflection is actually in full effect with this guy and plus you actually have an ankle tilt and the fact that he doesn't break up the colors as he as Rekar actually did and everything kind of like makes him look like it's a, like a lot more of a stationary like a lot more of a um, cohesive piece you know so that's actually really really nice I like that a lot and this guy uh, like uh, Rekar and uh Redgar and Junk Heap actually really just becomes a really fun duo to have in your collection. I can't wait to see exactly where else Junkions are actually going to go. I also like there were uh, there were like maybe a couple of um, upgrades that you could actually get for like either Redgar or Junk Heap that actually kind of like make some uh, more Junkions and everything like that. They had that one duel dude with the wheel and the midsection of his uh, of his chest and everything so that's actually really cool i really want to see what one of those upgrades are actually going to be or uh, are going to look like up close anyway let's get on to some more comparisons we have junk heap and buzzworthy bumblebee cup junk heap and hot rod junk heap and rodimus prime and junk heap and ethereal tigatron here start your day off right with junk heap junk heap makes a balance part of your breakfast along with these autobots at maximal and he is actually fortified to make your day go right Final thoughts coming up. So there isn't really a whole lot that I can actually say against Junk Heap. I think he actually makes a great figure and he's really, really solid too and everything. You know, that's one thing that I actually have to say is that I really think that the plastic on these are actually super robust and everything. And if you actually get them, I think you're actually gonna be really, really happy with them. He's actually fun. There's like a, just like with Red Card, there's like a really clever, just like really smart transformation that goes along with him. And um, yeah, I think you're really, really gonna like him. So like, take it from me, go get him. And that is it for me for tonight and everything. This is Diecast Thorpe signing off. I really hope that you all actually had an amazing weekend and everything. I hope your week actually goes extraordinary. And I can't wait to talk more about like everything that we've actually seen coming out and everything like that. That will actually be coming soon. Probably, it should have actually came out yesterday actually and everything. I have like all my thoughts about those uh, figures actually all filmed uh, already. And um, let's see if I could actually put that out before this video. But in any case though, I'm actually excited. I'm stoked. Cosmos, you know what I mean? So like, I am really, really super happy. I can't wait to see exactly what we're actually gonna get with each and every one in hand. And that's it for me. But be good to yourselves, be good to each other out there. Make sure that you actually pass kindness and, and gentility across each other and everything like that, because we freaking need it right now and everything, you know what I mean? And that is it for me for tonight. I am really, really happy that you're actually able to join me tonight and everything on my trip through nerddom as always. I appreciate you, each and every one of you for joining me and everything. I hope you'll actually join me again as I actually talk about these silly robots and everything like that that actually make me happy. And when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. I will definitely talk to you all soon. Thank you.